Hello demigods, monsters, and gods alike. Welcome back to the Olympus Report. Welcome back to Camp Half-Blood Incident Reports, the series where we take a look at the mistakes and misfortunes of our fellow campers here at Camp Half-Blood. Campers, it's important that you don't push your powers too far. Even though you're half god, it doesn't mean you're half invincible. Name Sophie, Cabin 1, date 05-04-23, time midnight. Details of incident. Don't practice flying in a thunderstorm. The wind, not a problem. The lightning, not a problem for me. Visibility, a huge problem. I flew into a tree. The tree definitely walked away in a lot better shape. It's also important that you try and not push each other too far, or this could happen. Name Leah Rose, cabin 12, day 05-05-23, time 3 a.m. Details of incident. I was stage blocking Oedipus when a thirsty Apollo camper cursed me to rhyme. Now I can't run my lines, but I can write fine. Dr. Seuss would be proud. Did you know that he was a child of Apollo? True fact. Only the Apollo cabin can cause so much disaster, but also fix it. Name Aiden, Byron, Cat, Savannah. Cabin six, seven, and nine. Date 050623. Time 1115 AM till 330 PM. Details of incident. Some Apollo kids tried to make some plague arrows. Unfortunately, they were airborne and these four campers were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Fever, nosebleeds, rashes, vomiting. The infirmary was a disaster, but thankfully all ailments have been taken care of. But Will is not happy with his cabin. And finally, before we go, some good advice in our next incident report. Name Kimmy, cabin three, date 050723, time noon. Details of incident. A dagger is not a smart idea for a toothpick. It is indeed not, but a great way to injure yourself. Hopefully you learned your lesson. And with that being said, it brings us to the end of another Incident Reports Half Blood. Thank you so much for tuning in, but until next week, I'm signing off. So please try to stay safe. Thank you.